All right, hey guys, so these are three brushes that I feel like all naturalistas should have, whether you are new on your journey or you are taking care of someone else's hair or wherever you are on your journey, these are three brushes that I feel like everyone needs. So they are gonna be in order, so you have to stay till the end to see which is my top, highly most recommended brush for natural hair. So let's get right into it. The first brush that I feel like every natural person should have, especially if you are a straight natural or you like to flat iron your hair or you flat iron your hair every so often. First thing I would recommend is a round bore bristle brush. Okay, try saying that five times fast. Round bore bristle brush. Round <laughs> anyway, so I would recommend this if you are looking to flat iron your hair. So for one thing, you can place this right underneath your hair and then with the flat iron you literally just follow it through and I'm telling you it makes such a difference it makes the flat ironing process a lot faster which leaves you with less heat damage less stress on your hair overall and better health however if you're going to use this brush I would recommend that you have your hair 100% detangled before you go in with the flat iron or you're going to end up up as creek without a paddle because the flat iron is literally like tailing behind this brush and if you are not careful and if your hair is not detangled you're going to end up stuck there and you're going to cause more damage to your hair than absolutely necessary and that's definitely not what we want at all not even in the slightest the second one that I think that all natural should have just in their case is this padded brush. A padded, uh, excuse me, a paddle brush, a strong one is a great thing. One thing that I've noticed with a lot of padded brushes or um, these paddle brushes is that when you actually start getting in there and if you're using it as a detangle brush, then the actual the back part will come out because they're glued typically along the corners, along the edges. And so what can happen if you apply too much pressure on the padded brush, then the inside can actually come off or if you don't have a good quality one. That's happened to me so many times. So this is not a detangle brush, okay? So this is the second best brush that I think you should have. But I want to be clear that I would not recommend detangling with this brush. This is a styling tool or if your hair is already detangled, this is something you can go in and, and make it like, like lay down. But I highly, I do not, absolutely do not recommend using this as a detangle brush unless you don't have any other options. Um, or if you're doing a light detangle. But if you're like really like battling with some knots, this is not the brush you want to use. So finally, my favorite, favorite, favorite brush as a natural is this one. And this probably you're like this is a brush this looks more like a comb and that's exactly why I love it this brush is my first go-to when it comes to brushes okay so first off I want to mention that this is not a dimming brush this is just a detangling brush you can literally get them on Amazon you can get them anywhere this is a detangling brush you can get them at the beauty supply store you can get them on Sheen to be quite honest and at some point you can get them a wee unique I've met but you can't get them yet so I'm not gonna say that but anyway <laughs> So the thing I like about this brush is when it comes to dimming brushes, typically they're like this, right? And originally this brush actually came, you see it has some holes in it. It came with a piece that like had it to station like this. It was a little bit wider. So I took that out. And because of the fact that it does this, if your hair gets caught in a snag, it's a lot less aggressive because it allows your hair to kind of work its way through. Also a technique when using this brush is brushing from different angles. So if I have a really, really, really like knotted part, like typically my hair gets super knotted in the crown area, I will start at the ends and I will brush downward in a downward motion. And then that helps me with the detangle process so, 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 so much. So these are the three brushes that I think all naturals should have. And if you're a beginner and you just need a brush to start, you should start with this one. So please feel free, if you like this video, to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, you can check us out on our website on weuniquecosmetics.com, weuniqueworld, 
and we have um, a, a plethora of things for you guys. So we have some learning on there. You can do our courses, our classes. We're also doing meetups. So if you really want to have some like live connection, you have some questions that you just can't really put into text, you can join us for a meetup, ask questions there. And yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time. And yeah.